okay so hey what's up guys this is me offline trs you all are watching Tech. today in this video i'm going to talk with you about top 5 best premium category smartphones to check it out so without a further ado let's get started on number 5 we have oneplus 8 pro this smartphone is one of the coolest having clean and simple looking design makes this smartphone to be most to have in your pocket Come classification you will be getting is a display of 6.9 inches QHD plus fluid AMOLED display refresh rate of around 120 Hz which is one of the coolest thing while you are gaming you got the enemies literally in front of you as for the gaming you will be getting is the Snapdragon 865 best for the gaming on the smartphone coming up with the memory you will be getting 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. The second variant is of 12 gigs of RAM and 256 GB of internal storage. And the battery is around 4510 mAh battery. Inside the box you will be getting a 30 volt fast charger. Coming with the camera, on the front side you will be getting is a 16 megapixel single shooter with f2.5. At the right side you will be getting is the quad cameras which have 48 plus 8 plus 48 plus 5. Coming up with the 48 megapixel you will be getting is the f1.8 which is wide secondary which is 8 megapixel f2.2 which is telephoto third which is 48 megapixel f2.5 which is ultra wide and the 5 megapixel camera which is f2.4 which is a color filter camera this is the highlight of the smartphone coming with the price in usa for the variant 8 plus 128 gb you'll be, you'll be priced at 899 dollars and in india it will be costing 54,000 triple line INR rupees and coming up with the 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of internal storage it will be priced at $1,000 in USA and in India 60,000 rupees see price is not in my control they fluctuate by the time so you can understand you might be thinking why this smartphone OnePlus 8 Pro is on number 5. You will be getting the 865 processor. Why then? Firstly, this company was making smartphones for the mid range and directly they jumped towards the premium category. So, somehow, people who are the daily users of the OnePlus they can't go and directly buy the 8 Pro. As per in some countries, the price have been a proper while others just as in USA the prices has gone too too far and one more thing there is a pretty damn issue going for the display I don't know why when the company is trying to make something good there is some queries inside of it I might say OnePlus would fix it with a simple update on number 4 we have Google Pixel 4 XL The smartphone is having a pretty good UI If you like a simple and aesthetic looking UI then the smartphone must be there in your pocket Coming up with the specification you will be getting is the display of 6.3 inches Quad HD Plus display Also you can have a refresh rate of 90Hz with a processor of Snapdragon 855 Coming up with the storage and memories, you'll be getting is the 6 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage. Secondary variant stands for 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. With the battery of 3700 mAh, you'll be getting is the 18 watt fast charger inside the box. Coming with the cameras, on the front side, you'll be getting is the 8 megapixel single shooter with f2.0 which is a wide camera on the red side you will be getting is the dual camera setup which is 12 megapixel and 
the secondary is a 16 megapixel. The 12 megapixel is of f1.7 and wide and the 16 megapixel is f2.4 which is a telephoto camera. Coming with the price, as you all know 6 plus 64 is the base variant would be priced at 899 in USA and 83,900 in India. Second variant which is 6 plus 128 would be priced at $1000 and 1,18,990 ,00 rupees in India. You might be thinking why this smartphone is on number 4, while the OnePlus 8 Pro having a good specs in a budget segment, while this smartphone don't plays a game in the camera. As you all know, Google has a really really good optimization in camera segment, and Google smartphones are only known for that which is really cool and you won't be getting 64 and 48 funky funky cameras on this side you'll be getting simple and easy for everyone to consume 16 and 12 megapixel cameras which is really good to having on number 4 on number 3 we have Sony Xperia 1 Mark 2 uh, this smartphone is for those who love cameras a lot and if you are a camera lover, this must be there in your pocket. And coming up with the specification, you will be getting is the 6.5 inches OLED display, which is 90 hertz, and with the processor of Snapdragon 865, you can have a simply cool gaming memory of 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of internal storage. And coming up with the battery you'll be getting is the 4000 mAh battery which is really really good in this segment with a 18 watt fast charger inside the box itself. Uh, coming with the cameras you'll be getting is the 8 megapixel single shotter on the front side with f2.0 which is wide. At the back side you'll be getting rare cameras which are quad. You'll be getting 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 0.3 megapixels of camera. Coming up with the 12 megapixel you'll be getting the f1.7 which is wide. Second which is also a 12 megapixel you'll be getting f2.4 which is telephoto. Third we have 12 megapixel which is f2.0 which is ultra wide and the fourth which is 0.3 megapixel is a TOF 3D camera which is stands for the depth which is kind of really good and you'll be one of the most highlight for this is the cameras and the cameras are literally literally amazing uh, coming up with the price you all know there is only one variant for the smartphone it gives off RAM and 256 of internal storage as per you all know this is already re released in USA which is priced at thousand and $200, which is kind of costly, oh? but in India it is expected to be launched in 13th of July of this month and it will be priced up below 60,000, which means 54,999 rupees. And those who all know camera lovers in India might be getting this smartphone as per this smartphone is a beast for cameras. You might be thinking why this smartphone is on number 3. Basically this smartphone cost around 100 and 200 dollars. Which is uh, really costly. Instead you can actually buy an iPhone 11 Pro. Why? You will be getting a 8 megapixel camera on the front side. Which is kind of not good also but I don't know why. And uh, the smartphone is completely focused on the camera side. Also, in the thousand and two hundred dollars, people must go and buy a good camera instead of the smartphone. But we don't know what Sony is trying to make the message via the smartphone. On number two, we have a company who don't need any introduction: Apple's iPhone 11 Pro Max. And this was a really really tough competition to choose on number 2 on number 1. If you are enjoying this video make sure you hit the like 
and share among your friends. Now coming up, why the smartphone we have used? You got a sleek triple rear cameras with an aesthetic simple looking design which is meant to be there in your pocket with the specification of display of 6.4 inch is Super Retina XDR display with the processor of Apple's E13 Bionic chip. Hey gamers, if you are enjoying this video, this is the beast must be there in your pocket. What are the variants? You'll be getting 4 plus 64, 4 plus 256, and 4 plus 512 GB of internal storage. And coming up with the battery, you'll be getting is the 3969 mAh of battery with a 18 watt charger included in the box. Coming with the cameras. On the front side you'll be getting is a 12 megapixel single shooter with f2.2 which is a wide camera at the rear you'll be getting triple camera setup which is 12 plus 12 plus 12 megapixels coming up with the 12 megapixel you'll be getting a f1.8 which is wide second which is also 12 megapixel which is f2.0 which is telephoto and third which is 12 megapixels which is f2.4 it is ultra wide camera you might be thinking why this smartphone we have picked on number two by the way one thing i don't like is battery you will be getting is around 3000 mAh only which is kinda really really small for every user and also on the display side they hadn't mentioned how much refresh rate they have given Although the users have told that it is a smooth experience for those who are used it. But they have mentioned it, it kind of really good for everyone to understand. On number one, another company which don't need any introduction, we have Samsung's Samsung Galaxy H20 Ultra. And for the USA users, this smartphone also is available in 5G. Now, why the smartphone? Uh, this smartphone is having a literally good camera, a nice processor, and a really sleek design to most have in your pocket. Coming up with the specification, you'll be getting the 6.9 inch display, which is Quad HD Plus, refresh rate of 120Hz, processor of Snapdragon 865, or you can say Exynos 990 point users memory of 12 gigs of ram and 128 gigs of internal storage and second variant is 12 gigs of ram and 512 internal storage battery of 5000 mAh and inside the box you'll be getting is the 25 volt power adapter now cameras we on the front side you'll be getting is the 40 megapixel single shooter with the f2.2 which is a wide and the rare You'll be getting the quad camera, which is 1080. On the rear side, you'll be getting the quad cameras, which is 108 megapixel, 48 megapixel, 12 megapixel, and 0.3 megapixel. Now, 108 megapixel is f1.8, and which is a wide, second, which is 48 megapixel, f3.5 which is a periscope telephoto you will be getting as a 10x hybrid zoom which is really good and on the 12 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide and the 0.3 megapixel is a tapped f1.0 camera now what are the drawbacks of the smartphone as we all know the price in india is only around for the 12 and 128 GB. They hadn't mentioned anything about to launch 12 plus 500 GB in India and anything else. Also, you will be getting is the Exynos 990 if you buy an Indian Indian variant. Which is kinda really bad. If they have given 865 for the Indian variants, it would be really really amazing for every Indians out there. Thanks for watching. These were our premium categories top 5.
best smartphones. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like, share among your friends, and stay tuned for these types of upcoming tech updates. And this is me, our friend Diava, signing home. Stay safe, stay with tech.